Good afternoon. You're listening to Member Supported, KPVL 89.1 Postville. When it comes to knowing the town of Postville, I'm Jeff Abbas, got some great folk music, some old time country. It would be hard to find someone with more info than Jeff Abbas. I guess insofar as, as finding a single place where you could find the most information about what's happened here since the raid, this is the place to be. I'm, I didn't choose that position to be in, but it's it's been handed to me. As the DJ at the only radio station in town, he's been following the never-ending saga of agri-processors since last May when the largest immigration raid took place in U.S. history. But by the time most of us found out, former plant CEO Shalom Rubashkin was indicted with 99 additional federal charges on Thursday, it was already old news to him. In fact, even other media outlets will now contact us here at the station to to see what community reaction is to, for instance, what happened today, the release of the, the 99 indictments today. Rubashkin, who is currently being held without bond in a Dubuque jail, is now accused of laundering over $20 million through this kosher market in Delhi, which is now closed, and the town's Jewish school. Money which was supposed to be used to pay for a $35 million loan, Rubashkin's lawyer Guy Cook says his client maintains his innocence. These charges, uh, the 99 counts, are mere allegations. They're proof of nothing. And he's presumed innocent, and in fact is innocent, unless and until the government can prove this case beyond a reasonable doubt in the court of law. Nevertheless, the U.S. Attorney's Office still considers Rubashkin a flight risk, fearing he may flee the country to avoid prosecution, as two other men named in the indictment are believed to have already done. The fact that Zev Levy and Hassan Amara have fled to Israel, they're known to be in Israel, I think only bolsters the case for denial of bail. But despite the onslaught of bad news, some of the only workers left, like Bill Smith, are staying positive. My perspective of the whole situation, you know, I, I believe things are going to be looking up more so for everybody, and, you know, we need the help. Waiting for Jeff to deliver the news that life, which once filled these busy streets, will someday come back to Postville. I maintain today that every time something new comes in, it goes out on the air because the community needs to know that. It, it affects everyone here in town. Elias Johnson. It's cold outside, but the music's mighty warm. Channel 13 News.